morning, Lady and the Frogs here. I'm hoping my washing machine isn't too annoying, but I thought I would run through the things I'm putting in the post today, which is Friday morning. For some reason, I seem to be doing really well on Thursday evenings. I just, I'm not sure if it's because I'm putting lots of things on auction, um, but Thursday seems to be like a good auction day, whereas it used to be Sunday. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you what I've got going out in the post. I'm not very motivated today. I, I, I did go out yesterday for a hospital appointment. Um, I'm just a bit, I'm a bit in two minds about what they've sort of like said. I've got to go for another test, which sounds like a horrific test. Um, and then I went sourcing and that was really quite rubbish. That's all that I got yesterday from what was about 12 or 13 shops in two different areas. Another area which has upped their prices. So anyway, things that are going out, I've got this jumper, um, which is Peregrine. It's been listed less than a week. It probably could have held out for more, but I know I'm just quite clean to move things on. Obviously this has taken up a lot of room. I've got 35 pound for that. I probably could have got closer to 50 maybe. I don't know, it had lots of interest, but, <laughs> you know, I do want to sell things. Maybe that's another reason why I sell things, because if people send me an offer, I just think, yeah, blow it. <laughs> I only paid three pounds for that, you see, so it, it's fantastic profit. This is a sort of, it's a really soft flannel shirt, and it's Carhartt. I've had this around for a while. Somebody offered me 20, so that's fine. I think this has gone for 20 as well. Um, I hope that it fits because I'm sure that it says that it's a size 14, but it's a very snug size 14. Um, and that's Musto, 20 for that. All of these were no more than three pound. I know that this was two, I s two pounds, not two. I saw another one of these, but I didn't get it because it was a size 10. Um, this is supposedly a size 14, but I'm a bit dubious. It's and other stories. I was tempted to keep it. It's velvety. It's quite nice. £14 for that. No, £15. This is going to Australia. I've got 20 for that, and then obviously they've paid their postage. Um, yeah, I've, it's quite bobbled for what it is. Um, but obviously, it, it is T-shirt weather in Australia. <laughs> so, yeah, that's going to Australia. This is also going to Australia. So I've got nine pound for that and obviously the extra postage on top of that. Um, one of the jigsaws which I've done. I have got a whole load more jigsaws to do. I think I might just do it this weekend because I just, it's like the week two of my time of the month so I'm just worn out. Um, she kindly was making an appearance yesterday. Um, which I think is one of the reasons why I've been sent to have this invasive procedure um, to see what's going on because she could see how badly I was bleeding. Um, this is Uniqlo, um, what's his name? J.W. Anderson, I have no idea who the Ben Canal is. There's been loads of interest in this, but I've had it on for 20. Um, and somebody offered me 15 so that's fine at least it's gone I've had that most of the summer uh, oh yeah I've got a Lego set there this I've had for a while there don't seem to be many examples of this one on which I'm not quite sure I know I could make a few more of this it's Mtron and it is just like a little sort of buggy thing some people are selling them for like 20 pounds um, but I've had mine on for a while I had mine down to 15 um, but that's gone for 12 no I think 11 actually it it doesn't matter like I say I can make a whole load more of them because I've definitely got the wheels and I've definitely got the, the printed parts for it so it's going to get done this these last two things are my auction things this is a 100% um, cashmere Marks and Spencers jumper so this has gone for 20 on auction because it's got a little notch there and there's a few they're not holes um, but they look like there will be holes soon um, I don't know it's almost like the person who 
had it before. It's almost like they smoked or something. And they're, they're like there might be cigarette burns, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, there's one sort of like starting there. So that's gone for, um, yeah, 20 and postage. And then there's this which I picked up, which is Hush. Um, every time I pick this up, all I can smell is the, <laughs> whatever it's been washed in is really nice. It's a jumpsuit, but it had booberella marks on it. It had a lot of wear there on the V, which I've tidied up. So I just put it on auction. So I think I got 11 pounds for that in the end, which isn't great, but you know, it's gone. I think I might do my sewing jobs today, actually. Cause this, this is my box of sewing jobs, which are right here. So I think I'm gonna get on with that today and probably do some listing. I just don't wanna start dragging Lego out. I'm just not in the mood. I'm probably going to do a few jigsaws over the weekend and do time lapse of them because some of them are Christmas ones and I need to get them on and on. Um, yes, plenty to list. Usually I go sorting on Friday, but I just couldn't be bothered with it. It was bad enough going out yesterday. I wasn't really in the mood after I'd been to the hospital to go sourcing, but I did go sourcing. Um, I'm going to show you what I picked up once the washing machine's finished because I can imagine that you're probably picking up on it um but that's you know laundry has to be done when you're a reseller and it never ends but it's just the whole drying things at this time of year is a pain in the bum right i will be back shortly with this mini haul <laughs> okay i've done post picked my prescriptions up um which I'm hoping that I don't need to use these pills at the moment. I'm hoping that things stop, but oh, I don't know that they will. Um, I've had a little delivery of some sundry bits of Lego, which I needed. Um, and it, it had that piece with it, which is from this set, which I was missing that. And I'm all, you know, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna complete this set. I will be completing this set. Um, and I was also like, oh great, it's got some instructions with it and it's got the instructions for the um, garage that I'm in the process of doing. And literally, that's it, one page. So it's got the car, but none of the actual garage. So I'm really quite irritated that they like put that in there because it's supposed to look like this. It's supposed to be, ding, ding, ding. It's supposed to be all of that a whole booklet worth of stuff but anyway there's other little bits in here and i can do a wheel job lot and sell that and i can also put some work because it's got some of the vintage windows so i can double my money based on that and you know i've got more diggers because you know i didn't have enough diggers previously <laughs> so yeah just a little sundry box so I, box I, I spent 10 pound on that but it had parts that i needed so Yesterday when I went to the hospital appointment and then I went on to the two areas which I used to source quite a lot in um, but for some reason the, the prices are just going up and it just wasn't there wasn't even that much that I was that interested in one of the places it used to have well it's next to a famous mural um, which you've probably seen in the news because it got graffitied um, so based on the fact that they're next to that they are no longer a pound shop um charity shop which they used to be and now they're extortion um, you know so they've gone from a one pound charity shop to prices like that 695 um which which is exactly what they're Age UK is like up here. I used to buy loads from this Age UK, um, which is a bit closer to me, but I don't anymore because they think that they're a boutique. Um, they don't think they're a charity shop. And this is what gets to me when people like say, "Oh, you know, you're taking you're taking away from people who would rely on a charity shop." Well, nobody's going to spend seven pounds. I mean, yesterday there was like coats for twenty. You're not going if you're on the breadline. You're going to go 
and shop at pound uh, at poundland you're going to go and well, poundland and even poundland anymore you're going to go to primark if you if if your budget is a charity shop budget you ain't going to go to a charity shop anymore if they're putting these extravagant prices on so anyway i did decide that i was going to get this it is rather bobbly but i never find toast um so i am going to throw this on auction starting at 9.99 but obviously i've spent 6.95 but I'm going to put it on auction, state that it's a bit bobbly, do photos and see where it goes. Um, some of these have gone up to 80. <laughs> Believe it or not, I mean, it is just a dress. But, you know, that's it. Toast is, you know, desirable. So I did take that risk, but only after looking up. And then they had a few other things in there, but I didn't get them because they were priced weird. Um, and then this is a brand that I don't really pick up that much. It's Q, but that is part of Jigsaw. And I got it because it's quite a nice print, um, you know. And I find that people do go on holiday and they do shop for holiday clothes. So that one was 2 But as I say, there were coats and things, but they were like, the cheapest was five. And, you know not really what i wanted to pay um and then i went around some of the other shops there they were just going silly money one of them was closed for no bleeding reason um and i went around another one they had a was gidge there but it was three pounds and it looked like somebody punched the box several times so i didn't want to pay and spend three pounds for all that damage and probably an incomplete jigsaw um, and then I went to the Oxfam that they have there and at the Oxfam I did find this and I knew I was going to find this brand today it's really weird so it's just a check shirt um, the tag is down here so I've spent 4 99 on that um, but it should get me around 30 because it's Universal Works and Universal Works people like that and this is sort of like patchwork so It'll definitely sell based on the fact that it's patchwork check. So I picked that up and then and another shop, which I was just about to give up in. But then I did find this, which was in with the top. So all their dresses were, you know, $6.99 prices, you know, which I don't want to pay because I don't need to pay that because I live up north. Um, and part of the, you know, tolerating being up north <laughs> is that you have cheaper shops. So I don't want to pay silly prices. But then this was in with the tops and it is a dress. It, it has to be a dress. It does say size 16, but I'm still fairly sure that it's a dress. Um, and it's mint velvet, but old label. Um, and I have spent 3 99 on that. There's another shop which has gone downhill, RSPCA. They quite heavily pricing now. They used to have a really nice manager at my local shop, but she's been whistled away somewhere and these years have turned up and then we went to another area which has a mind a cat's protection a cancer research a sue rider an oxfam uh what's that one ah oh, i can't think bernardo's and an rspca and I purchased from two shops because of the pricing it was just silly so all in all I won't be taking I won't I won't be going up to this this way I, I I tended to go there you know on at least a monthly basis if not every two months um prior to all the lockdown garbage and all that but it's gone downhill now well they think they've gone uphill but i'm not shopping in all these places with the prices that they've got but one of the reasons why is because it's time i have to you know go i have to do my post in like random places where they're a bit weird about you dropping your prepaid post because they're good round my way and they don't mind and they know me um so there's that element then there's the fact that i've got to spend tram fare to get there and I've got to walk and then there's time it just feels like a waste of time if I'm going to a place where the condition of the items is probably not that good and um, I'm paying up for it um, 
I could just go day on a daily basis to the one which is nearer to me and not spend money on a tram fare and get some bangers every time. Um, I'd rather do that rather than waste an entire day trailing around shops. You know, was when I say I've been around 13 shops and I've only got another four more items to show you. It's not a, it's not a good use of your time when you need to spend time doing your post, doing listing, uh, doing your accounts, doing other things. It's just a waste of time. So I did manage to get something in one of the other RSPCAs, which was a jigsaw, which was a pound. They had some really decent clothes in there, but it's like they had a pair of Reese trousers for, no, not 20. It was, they, they priced them at 30. 30 pounds and I kid you not and then the other stuff was like crazy oh heck, we've got a magpie that's turned up hello Panking. <laughs> um yeah I just don't know I don't know what the planet they're on but this jigsaw the one of the wasgage ones it's very nice and clean and it was only a quid so I got that and then the only other things I got were at Sue Ryder which again they had a lot of stuff that was silly price but not so bad and i rarely find this so this is the other things that i found um i don't know why my phone just decided to stop recording just disregarded my existence um yes so fabulous find these at sue rider um four pounds um they are sweaty betty the Zero Gravity by Fern Cotton and Sweaty Bessie. There are similar ones to this on and they are selling for around 30 to 40. Um, got a zip at the back. I mean, <laughs> they're so similar, these joggers really, aren't they? Because the Fabletics ones, I used to find Fabletics a lot and that's sort of stopped happening now. Um, and then, you know, that lightning never strikes for me and then today it's yesterday it struck again so i've got these ones with birds and oriental flowers on um yeah really great and these are actually large so that's great i must you know i know that i need to start exercising i'm almost convinced that i mean i was exercising and then i had a really bad month of it um health wise but it, there's got to be a better alternative um, to life that doesn't involve crazy medical procedures so you know there's a good chance that I might end up keeping some of these <laughs> and then these ones these aren't sweaty betty these are Victoria's Secret um, yeah just some like what's that stone pebble type print uh, these ones were 375 I don't know how much I didn't look them up I just thought they were quite nice and usually like I say they might end up being mine because well no there's I think they're extra small so they probably won't be mine if anything becomes mine it's going to be one of the sweaty Bessies um there's people it's a very good brand isn't it so you know if I want a pair of jogging you know workout trousers maybe the sweaty Bessie ones will be mine these ones are probably I'm leaning towards keeping these ones these ones are slightly bobbled anyway so I don't know might be an idea and the way I keep getting through leggings well that's a good reason not to keep them because I just keep messing up leggings because of my medical issues which I don't know but we won't get into that because it's boring and tedious and um yeah <laughs> anyway like I said, I probably, it was a bit of an eye-opener going there. I probably won't be going there, uh, making a habit of it. It's far better for me to spend time going to somewhere where I know that everything's capped at £3 and they're turning over their stock really quickly and I can generally fill a bag and I only spend, well, I get there crack of dawn when they open at 9.30 and generally I can be back here for 12 so it doesn't take up the whole day because then I've got the afternoon to do work rather than trailing around charity shops and not getting much. But, you know, I won't stop going because you never know. I was hoping to get more bric-a-brac yesterday, but it was just rubbish. 
and my husband said it was rubbish as well because he used to he, he, we thought we were going to have like a good day of it after it had been through the hell of the hospital appointments but yeah he says he's going to come with me to the other ones but I don't I think it's going to be a bit rubbish and there's a lot of like husbands who seem to be with their women you know probably just in the like sort this out doc I can't get me end away what are you going to do for me I need I, I, I need my missus you know back on it you know she can only give me blowjobs at the minute and it's not good enough I, I, get her pipe sorted so you know <laughs> I'm hoping that I don't have to spend too much time at the gynecology unit because it's not like, it's not somewhere I want to be. And I've, I, I saw the patient after me because the, the woman, the, 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 the doctor handed to the student doctor somebody's file and it was that big. And I was just thinking, I don't want to be back and forth from here while they try and work out something and then say there's no solution. Um, yeah. Workout leggings and working out is probably a better thing you know I know I know I've put on unnecessary weight because it's very dingy today and it's minus one and I put my coat on to go to the charity shop and I know I had this jumper on but it was snug so I know that I need to work out so anyway that's my video done for today and um, I will see you again soon with you know more hauls and hopefully from my, my normal place where i'll have a lot more to show you than that so thank you for watching and i will be back again soon so goodbye from me and goodbye from frogs and random care bear <laughs>